subject to part three of the Can We Beat Fallout 3 as an Executioner? Uh, in the last time, well, damn. In the last playthrough that we did, uh, we just rescued Father and we did the uh, drawing for the 50 followers giveaway. Audio is working, so I'll turn that down. And let's hop right back in. might end up being a bit of a late stream, but I'm hoping that we can finish this challenge so that next time we can get hop right back into Far Harbor and Fallout 4. Shoot the robo brain one more time just because we can. Probably the most annoying part is though that I think I decided not to do fast travel. So we're gonna have to walk our butts all the way back to Rivet City. And then over to the memorial. And then all the way back to frickin' Little Lamplight. Then from... Uh, what's it called? Whatever, from the Enclave of... Uh, ...way back. What long that? Especially when you could just walk in a straight line. He's going the long way around. But he's going to be there right as we get there. For plot convenience. Or, I don't know. So far, I see no enemies in our way, so... I don't have to worry about that. I'm questioning if we should attack this place. You know what? We're going to. Because screw all the raiders and everything they stand for. Oh, you saw that? Crap, I'm gonna have to clean. Got, got a mid air with a head. Shot. And then every other shot I'm gonna take in the rest of this playthrough is going to be a miss. Let's see if any of these guys have stim packs or anything for me. Gonna drop the stim packs. Oh, oh, this weapon so much. Luckily, here there's a special version of this called the terrible shotgun. I think we might go and grab that while we're here. Ooh, guts. Nasty. There you ah. oh. <laughs> that super mutant behemoth in here. But I think we'll do that later. Once we finish clearing out the rest of this place. Uh, this hey, what up, Supremacy? Uh, uh, Basically, uh, this is a challenge I like to call... Uh, the Executioner oh. Challenge, where oh. basically you just kill oh. everyone in sight. Oh. Everybody that shows up on your screen, you have to kill, oh. unless they are 
unkillable like James, who uh, only gets knocked out. So base can die, will die if you see. Him. So there's gonna be plenty of blood and gore in this playthrough. This is only part three. This will most likely be my second longest challenge. I think the first longest. Actually, I don't remember. Who is that? There you are. Damn, raiders blend in so easily. <laughs> I sniped with a shotgun. Alright. Let's see how we want to deal with this big guy. Oh, we're first going to take out this generator over here. And then... Do we still have the fat man? Yes, we do. Bombs away, big boy! And to save on ammunition for that, we are then going to go to the missile launcher. Ah! God. There we go. Nice. Only a hundred bottle caps, but still, it was part of the challenge, we had to kill whatever was in our sight. I'm gonna use this combat shotgun until it dies. Alright, let's finish clearing out the outside of this place first. Pop ourselves a stim pack real quick. Stim pack, make the pain go away. So yeah, I don't know if I've seen you in the jet before. Are you new here? Raiders hiding out over here? Nope, just the slaves. Go up here and get the key to free the slaves. And then we'll clear out the inside of the building. Anything cool in here? Nope, some shot. I was going to say some shotgun shells, but the box apparently wants to be opened that badly. Safe key, some psycho right away. Drugs of sorts. We don't want the food. We don't require it. Nice. Some more shotgun shells and ammunition. I'm not going to take the carton of cigarettes, because we don't even trade at all in this playthrough since we had to kill the traitors. And... Like, it's not worth trading them when we could just kill them and get the same gear. Grant is slightly limited, but still. Might as well keep our caps and just take the stuff. Be free, slaves. Free to die. Simply because this is a challenge where we have to kill everything in sight. Yes, you are, my friends. Out of this world. Anybody else? Nope. Okay, good. So now we can head inside the building. This is one of my favorite challenges to do simply because you can use whatever you want to kill. Basically whatever you want. Ooh, look at all the bones. Uh, we'll take the whiskey. Take the whiskey to celebrate. Now for the inside of the building. There's actually a good bit of weaponry in here, too. Wow, he really tore me up, huh? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. 
Boom. Turn on my light here so that y'all can see. Let's see, average locked, which we can't open. So we don't have any lock picking skill. Some dirty water, and of course we're too heavy for that. Broken terminal, let's see what it says. No input device connected, reconnect keyboard. Uh, the keyboard is part of the device. I don't know how that can be disconnected. Clearly it is broken. We're not gonna take any of that. We already loot this guy? Yeah, we did. Now I can come check out back here. Can't open that. Why is all this locked? There we go. Ooh, nice. Two stim packs. Some shotgun shells. Some bobby pins, which is kind of useless for us. Eight ball. I'll take it. Somewhere in this game, there's a lucky eight ball, which gives you extra luck, but I have no idea where it is, because I can't remember. <laughs> hey, Kaboo! Uh, the weapon broke. All right. Well, that worked. Some rad X. Nice. Deactivate that radio. Got ourselves some bottle caps here. First aid box. Always nice. Refrigerator over here. Nothing useful there for us. Alright, let's proceed. Damn it, how did I miss that? Bop it. Got ourselves another stim pack and some more rat away. That's always useful. Die. I don't want to die. You might have to though. Boom. Oh, a missile and a missile launcher. Let's see if we, if our missile launcher needs any repair, which it does. So nice. All right, I already looted that. I know there's a fat man in this facility, and I'm hoping one of the raiders doesn't accidentally grab it. Well, doesn't on purpose grab it. Ooh. Got ourselves some microfusion cells and such. Storage room key. A nuka grenade. Some railway spikes. A couple grenades in the trash over here. And a locked safe. Ooh, spikes. Very easy lock safe. We can actually open this one. I don't know how he managed to fail that one, but... What the heck, you? Lock picking is not my favorite. Oh, we're overcumbered. Cabinet. Another laser rifle. We can use that to fix ours. Or we can just drop the broken one. Got ourselves some drugs over here, which we'll take. Cabinet with more bobby pins for us. And a fat man. I don't know why the fat man has different damage though when all the damage comes from the detonations of the nuclear warheads it throws. Doesn't make much sense that the fat man has the ability to affect how much the mini nuke does when the mini nuke is the thing that causes all the damage. 
but whatever. More damage is more damage, even though this will essentially one-shot most anything in the game. There's very few enemies that this weapon won't one-shot. So, might as well hang on to that. Anything up here? Nothing in there. Empty cabinets. Alright, let's see if we can take some of these guys out with the hunting rifle. Bop it. Don't even ask me how they saw me. There they are. I didn't actually hit that, so I don't know how she died. Baseball bat, some beer and such. Got him. Come on, boys! Fresh meat! Kick it! Okay, I can actually fire that thing. Take that missile launcher. This is gonna and the missiles on this guy's inventory. And we will use this to repair ours. Find it funny how the freaking enemies in this game can take a shot to the face and be perfectly fine with continuing the fight. Alright, let's see. We're gonna upgrade our sneak some more. And we're gonna take the toughness perk. Oh, he's lucky I'm out of ammo for that. He's momentarily lucky. You know what? Just so that we overcompensate a little. Hey, no. You hold still. Boom. Oh yeah, he's definitely dead. A terrible shotgun. Let's see, anything in here that's worth it? No, not really. Some stim packs, and that, and then we'll take all this ammo. Just because. Why are we so heavy? Alright, let's see. Fix that with that, there we go. Bobby pin. Right away in stim packs. Pretty sure there's a bobblehead back here. Yes, there is. Where is it? There you are. The barter bobblehead. Completely useless for us in this round. An average lock safe that we can't do anything with. We'll take that bottle cap mine. They explode and give us bobble bottle caps. Which are also basically useless for us. And a hard locked ammunition box. Let's finish clearing out this place. How did they get a giant pair of dice down here? Hmm. Teddy Bear Strip Club. I'm gonna tear you up. Well, that was efficient. <laughs> Was that fun? Of course it was. Madame's key. 
Thank you, madame. Wakey, wakey. Ah! Good night. You're dead. Dead. Ooh. That was a good bit of damage there. Oh, I love the bloody mess perk. And we'll buy. How is that thing still firing? Flamer fuel and medics. Get ourselves some bottle caps. And a safe down here. Take all of the ammunition and such from it. Some rat away. Raider Blastmaster armor. We don't really need that though. Some buff out. Brass knuckles. And medics. No, we don't want to sleep. We want to open the footlocker. Which there is nothing of value inside. Alright. Got this place all cleared out. <laughs> Light up boobs. Gamer boobs, gamer boobs, gamer boobs. <laughs> okay, that was just the radio I was hearing, I was gonna say. Like, I knew I was hearing something. Whatever, let's get out of here. So we got that place cleared out. Nice. Got ourselves a pineapple. Don't ask about the pineapple, because I'm not going to tell you. Pick the high ground, because I also want to just run on top of a train. Well, there's also a raider up here that we need to loot. All right, I.
God freaking damn it! Oh. oh my God, I do this way too much. Oh, I'm sorry. That happens way more often than you would think. And I don't even turn my mic off. I turn it off. I don't know why it keeps turning itself off. Warning. Oh my god. I've been doing this. For the past half hour, I've been talking into the camera. Ah. Uh, Alright, thank you, thank you for telling me that. Basically, what I'm doing is, uh... A, basically just a kill everything challenge where I have to try and beat the whole game by killing everything in sight without dying so and I made an additional rule where I'm not allowed to fast travel uh, I'm not actually in any quest I'm just doing the main storyline I need a stim pack Okay, screw this, Mr. Gutsy. <laughs> Essentially, yes. But, not just a regular genocide run, like an actively kill everything in sight run. Like, if I even think it exists in my area, I have to go hunt down. And see, mo like, a lot of the challenges I do are just, like, can you beat the game using this particular stupid weapon? Like, these are some of my favorite challenges, though, because I can do it any way I want, so long as I follow the parameters. This time, I just decided to take the main line rather than just skipping to the end like I usually do. Oh no, I'm not using a missile launcher on a freaking mole rat. So yeah, normally I just go to Casey's garage and the stream is done within an hour. That's not fun to watch. That's not fun. So we're gonna go and do the whole uh, standard storyline for this. In the last stream, I went and uh, did the drawing for what's it called, the 50, 50th uh, follower uh, giveaway. So I think the next giveaway is going to be at a hundred followers and. At uh, once we reach Twitch affiliate, so we need to get both a hundred followers and Twitch affiliate for the next uh, giveaway, which I think will just be a fifty dollar uh, Visa gift card. That you could sneak up on me. He thought wrong. I'm detecting a mole rat. Where you at, mole rat? There you is. I have the high grounds. No, my high grounds. You can't have it. Stay down there. Stay. Okay. It's it's not the way you think. Basically, the way that I do it is. In, in my Discord, I have a role called uh, Twitch Ping. It's an optional role. Nobody has to have it. And there's no parameters in getting it. Basically, you can get that role, and it will allow you to join my giveaways. And once I reach a certain uh, number of followers or a specific goal, that's when I will do a giveaway. And the giveaway is open to anybody who has the affiliate role. Well, not the affiliate role, the uh, uh, Twitch ping role. 
So it's op it's essentially open to everybody. Like, just so long as they're in the Discord. Which, if you're looking, the Discord link should be in, uh, my, like, on the home page of my Twitch. Okay, over here should be some alien power cells, which is a rare weapon in this game. Let's see. Nope, shotgun shell. Oh, easy locked. Can't even open that. Some more stim packs. I'll have to check who the 50th follower 50th follower is. The only thing I have to do for a fill is get three uh, people watching per stream, like average of three people per stream, and I think mine's like 1.8. So basically, I just need to start pulling like extremely uh, attentive streams. That's a word. I don't know. Is it a word? Probably. Let's see, anybody over here? This is a strange area. I almost never come over here. Thanks, man. Yeah, see, believe it or not, I do actually like... Give... Like, not necessarily giving away m oh no we're in gray ditch are we oh i wanted to avoid this place oh, I hate this oh. place i hate this place fire ants there and they shoot fire out of their freaking face holes The workers aren't difficult to kill. It's the other ones. Swap back to the hunting rifle. It's got more reliable accuracy. Alright. Once we bop this thing on the head, I'll check who the 50th follower was. There we go. All right, let's see. Ah, uh, do you play Fallout 3 as well? Hang on, let's see. Go to Stream Manager. And it was Evact Gamers. E-V-A-C-D Gamer Z. It's a weird username. Can't be as weird as how I got mine. There's two issues with that. One, you either need to go do the DLC, which is really freaking annoying. Like, it's probably the worst DLC in the Fall series. Or, you need to get a, a rare, what's it called? A rare event to trigger. Okay, that's working. That's working quite well. <laughs> oh, I love grenades. Alright. There's something over here. Hello? Hello? Ah. Goodbye. Oh, crap. Uh, I nearly blew myself up. That's exactly what happened last time. Fire in the hole! How are you not dead yet? Boom. <laughs> okay, Operation Anchorage is a really good DLC, and I love it. But probably my favorite DLC in the entire Fallout series is the Far Harbor DLC. Probably my second favorite is the Point Lookout DLC, just because of how different it is from the standard uh, Fallout 3 game. Well, Fallout 3 playthrough. 
Now, see, what I like about Anchorage is the overpowered uh, loot you can get from it. <laughs> I love watching things fly. Alright. I think we're good. I have uh, Game of the Year Edition for both Fallout 3 and 4. So, during my Fallout 4 playthroughs, or since we did the main storyline and uh, Nuka World, which we went and got all the power armors and everything from Nuka World, too. What happens if you just hold a grenade? Like, if you just keep it held back. If it's anything like a regular grenade, it shouldn't explode until the trigger is released. So let's see. Okay, so so far, nothing. Okay, that was a really bad shot. The grenades do have a habit of just flying wherever the hell they want to. Wee! <laughs> oh my god, I love that so much. I like all physics and Fallout. Like stupidly bad, and then other times it's just stupidly funny. Oh, this is the money shot. Oh yeah, that one didn't go flying though. All right. So I made it through Gray Ditch and killed everything we saw. Not going to go down into the sewer area, though, or the train station. Because we got a mission to do, and I'm so low on X that it's ridiculous. Ooh. Neck. So yeah, quick tip, if you're ever looking for the alien blaster, probably the best way to get it is right over there. Basically what you do is you quick save over on this side of the river here, and then you just swim across to that little patch of dirt, and you keep walking up over there. That is the easiest way to trigger the events. Like, that's a special event hotspot right there. Alright, we are going to cross the river, though, to avoid the Brotherhood of Steel. Because I don't want to have to fight all the Brotherhood of Steel. Besides, I don't even know if we could finish the rest of the game. Since... We'll have to kill all, like, all the Brotherhood of Steel that we see as soon as we enter the memorial. So I think that's going to be the end of the playthrough. Since we can't actually beat the game if we're attacking the Brotherhood. Let's see, anything spawn over here? Nope, it's just these guys again. So yeah, if a special event happens in a location and you continue with that save... It's not, you're not going to get any more special events in that location. So I got the three Wastelanders hanging around, which I, all, I had to kill all of them. But you can get a Deathclaw, you can get Rad Scorpions, you can get the Zayden spaceship. Like, you can basically get a whole bunch of stuff. Chinese assault rifle. Okay, what if I told you that there was an ultimate Chinese assault rifle in the game that you could use a glitch to get a hold of? It's called the Winterized Chinese Assault Rifle. Basically, the way that the weapons in the uh, Operation Anchorage DLC work is they all basically have unlimited weapon condition. Like, they have it so high that it's impossible to break. Uh, because you aren't supposed to be able to break the weapons when you're in the simulation. And there's a chance... Okay, it's called the Gary Glitch. Basically, you take the dead Gary from inside that bunker, drag it over to the uh, machine, and then as soon as you're exiting, like anything in your inventory, as soon as you exit, you have a small window of time where you can open his inventory, drop all of your items in before the game takes them, and then you can take them back from the Gary clone. It's a very hard to do thing, but if you manage to do it, you can get yourself the winterized fat man, the winterized uh, combat armor, you can get all of the gear. You, uh, For some of the weapons, you do need the Gauss rifle to be able to shoot it out of 
the enemy's hands. But it is possible to get those. And they are fully uh, repaired and indestructible. One item that does get left in the game, though, afterwards, is the Winter Ice Power Armor, which has the same effect. I'm pretty sure that was an oversight on Bethesda, because that suit doesn't break at all. And it's exactly the same as the winterized, well, as the T-51B power armor that we can find in that bomb shelter by collecting all the keys. Alright, let's head back over to Rivet City. But yeah, didn't know if you knew that, but if you're going to try and get yourself like a Chinese assault rifle build, like that specific weapon, I would highly suggest going and trying to get that weapon through the glitch. Now I've never been able to pull it off, like because I'm on a console and I don't know how well it works for consoles. I know it works for PC, so if you like have the PC version of Fallout 3 you could do it. Now my favorite weapon in the entire Fallout series, it, com it comes from Fallout 4 and it's a modified weapon. It's a minigun? with a shredding barrel. You combine that with a suit of power armor and you have a portable blender that never runs out of energy. When you're outside of a suit of power armor it will drain your AP pretty quickly but there's a glitch where if you're in a suit of power armor it won't touch at all. It will stay completely normal. If you join me in my uh, Fallout 4 uh, you'll see the weapon firsthand. And my god is that a fun weapon. It will take down even the biggest enemies in a matter of seconds. It is so overpowered and you only like 23 to get it or if you have the game on like super hard mode you can possibly get it from a super mutant as early as the beginning of the game. So basically it's such an easy to acquire and reliable weapon that if you have a power armor build you're gonna want that gun. The only downside is if you pick up any 5mm ammunition, uh, the it'll load up into the gun and you'll have to get rid of it all. Is there a problem? Now yeah, see, the issue here is the fact that Harkness is one of the enemies that is indestructible, really. However, let's see if we can throw him into the water. Just as an experiment. Come on, Harkness. Work with me here. Into the water. Into the water. Everyone so Harkness into the water with you. Oh, whatever. I give up on trying to get him in there. Alright. Let's head inside. And go talk with Dr. Lee. Now, I've already killed everybody who can be killed in here. Everybody who is left is the ones who just go unconscious. But we've been gone a few days so that they shouldn't be much of an issue. Yeah, look at all the bodies lying around. Definitely been through here. There's more where that came from. I'm sure there is. Told you it would work now. Now I can prove it. Alright. There they are. We need to get back to Project. It'll be good. This is madness. Now I'm pretty sure Garza is a new enemy here. Who spawns in once you get to this point in the thing. Well, in the game, so. I'd suggest just killing him so that you don't have to waste uh, stim packs on him later. Hey, what up, Johnny? Artemidge is also a synth, which for some reason wants to be indestructible. Same with Dr. Zimmer, which 
like, confirms my theory that Dr. Zimmer is also a synth. Look what we have because three, like, both, uh, what's his name? Harkness and uh, Artemidge are synths, and both of them uh, are unkillable. At least until you finish that part of the quest line. Why am I going this way? And for some reason, this guy too is indestructible. But luckily, he doesn't damage us. Good, he's knocked down. Dad is indestructible, so we don't have to worry about him. His main weakness is radiation. Luckily, I've already gone and cleared out Project Purity. So now we don't have to do it. Okay, she, she only goes unconscious as well. And here's Harkness, who is also a confirmed synth. And is that me? Yes, it is. We're gonna take our little shortcut here and jump off the ship. And just swim our way over there, which is faster than slowly walking around. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land. That you understand. There we go. Get ourselves up. I just, I just said there we go, and that we got ourselves out of the water nice and easy. And then we fall back into the water. What the heck? So yeah, my main concern for this playthrough is going to be dealing with the Brotherhood. Because I just the game without the Brotherhood. Because I'm pretty sure they'll refuse to help us if we go through and kill most of them. Or we'll just get our freaking butts handed to us, so... I'm kind of dreading that section of the game. The Enclave are pretty easy to deal with. Like, they're not actually too difficult of a challenge, which goes to show how powerful the Enclave isn't. What I find funny is how the Enclave were so insignificant that they didn't even show up in Fallout 4. This guy, he's rude. Now my question is, why is there recoil on a laser rifle? Lasers are just light. Light doesn't have any recoil. Now unless this is a plasma-based laser which does have recoil, this weapon shouldn't be recoiling at all. It should be essentially the same as a laser pointer. No, I don't. Watch it. You're lucky I can't kill you. Here we are. Skip through that. And we'll go down to the basement for the most dull section of the game, which is just running back and forth fixing things. Hey there. Oh, actually, we don't need this guy either. Over here! Because I'm pretty sure he can be killed. Execution style, right to the back of the head. Yeah, see, Fallout 3 is also my favorite. Like, simply because it's Bethesda's first attempt at a Fallout game, and it did so well. Plus, it was also the first M-rated game I ever played. Now, I tried Fallout New Vegas, and it was decent. The first time I played it, I hated it. Like, I really did not 
Fallout New Vegas. Uh, I tried it again, and it's def it's better than, like, it's definitely better than what I remembered it being, but it still doesn't beat Fallout 3 or Fallout 4. I tried Fallout 76, and that was just awful. Okay, hang on. Where, where am I? I keep getting mixed up. Here we go. Fallout 76 was just god awful. Getting myself mixed up down here. This place. There we go. And Fallout 4. It's fairly standard. It's decent. It's my second favorite. Like, mainly because of the amount of customization that you can do there. Like, I love the power armor. The thing that I don't like about the power armor is the fact that the game wants us to believe that. The power armor we see in this game is the same T-45D that's in that game. The two-piece suit that we see in this game that can be folded like a t-shirt is that same I know there's a lot going portable on right tank that we see in Fallout 4. This Make sure Dad's disappointed in us. Hey. And let's go replace those fuses. Back down to the basement. Now, I tried Fallout 1, and I'm, I'm just glad some people liked it to the point where we have these future games, because I wasn't a huge fan of it. I really wasn't. Like, mainly, mainly because I'm used to being able to do everything instead of just the point and click, but even the combat, the combat was a little bad. Like, when you're missing 90% of the shots you take, and it's not your fault because it's a luck based system. I miss 95% of the shots I take, but that's because I'm a terrible shot. And it's because my character is a terrible shot. There's a big difference between those two. I have not tried Fallout 2, but I doubt it's any better. Fallout Tactics I've heard is pretty bad. Same with Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, so I'm not even going to bother with those ones. Uh, the vault uh, game for, like, mobile and such, it's, I'm not a huge fan of that one either. Just be a few minutes. How are you holding up? Need to... it's until we can access okay, we gotta wait frame. for him to finish talking here. The intercom so I can tell you where to go next. There are a few minor repairs. Alright, and there we go. Like, probably my biggest issue with that game is the fact that it's an idle game. So, you can't speed run it. Hell, you can't even do too much without playing for hours, days, weeks on end. Which is not my favorite type of game. I like games where you can play it fairly quickly and has a lot of replay value. This game... The Fallout series has probably the most replay value out of any game I've ever played, including Minecraft. Like, I think the Fallout series is one of my favorite series of games ever. And that's saying something because I've been playing the Mario series, Sonic and all that, since I was, like, in preschool. Another series that I do like, though, is the Doom Seek to do a bit more here with. Also, I never noticed it before, but why the hell is there a speaker system inside of a drainage pipe? Over here, just click this so that we can go straight in. But yeah, the Doom series has always been a fun one. Get more of that freaking cereal. This kid's eating off brand freaking cereal. Out of a bag that he keeps in his room. Well, actually, more in my room since I'm the one who cleans this place and does repairs. Finally, we are getting to the part of the game where we get some more microfusion cells. 
because basically every enemy we see from now on is going to be using laser weapons. And if we're lucky with our shots, these guys basically pay for their own ammunition spent. Tango spotted. Open fire. Contact. Where do you see the mango? And see that line right there. That line basically sums up the entire beliefs of the Encore. Civilian spotted. Take them down. They're not here to serve the people. They're, they don't give a damn about you. Hell, the soldiers even say, a civilian, take it down. By the authority of the president, this facility is now under United States government control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to the- Did we actually pickpocket them? That's quite impossible. This is a private project. We we actually managed to pickpocket Colonel Autumn. Nice. See if we can explode his pants. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes. I'm for this project. Then I repeat, sir. That you are hereby okay, so we can't reverse pickpocket him to make him explode. I'm sorry, Probably because uh, attacking moment, is not possible in this room. I'm pressing the button here, but it doesn't allow me to use my gun, so I doubt we can actually attack him. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once, and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility she doesn't have anything really good. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Now, see, Are I got a clear? question for you. Yes. Does Colonel Autumn actually die Do here? No because from what I found, then the Colonel Autumn that we see later in the game is a twin. Related to this project. And, in making it like, operational at once. once this thing goes down, I'll show you all the proof I have that the Colonel Autumn we see later in the game is a twin. Enough of these delays. Look at that face. A few more Look at that ugly face. Run. Run! Alright, so, let's see. If we do it correctly, we should be able to search both Dad and Colonel Autumn. Alright, it showed up there. For a minute, search Colonel, search Dad. Really tricky to get the angling right, but okay. Search Dad. We could take his wasteland outfit now. Dad is definitely dead. You know what? We can move him off to the side there and search Colonel Autumn. The fact that we could search Colonel Autumn right next to Dad shows that this Colonel Autumn is dead. However, he is pretty dummy thick. Look at that. Let's see. We can drop that. We don't need that. We don't need no laser pistol. And we don't need a sawed off shotgun. Mm. Time for a bit of confusion. This is also the easiest way to get two sets of Colonel Autumn's uniform. So that you and a companion can use them. 
What am I saying? Easiest. It's the only way to do that. We need to escape. Don't wander off. We're going to need. All right. Don't wander off. We're going to need. Wait here. I'll scout ahead. Since we can't kill her, but we've already killed everybody else, she's the only one we gotta worry about. Die, you. Boom. Gonna kill the Enclave while dressed as Colonel Autumn. Really mess around with them. Mess with their minds. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick I learned a while back. To make this really easy. guys get across. Okay. So he lowered that one guy's health. Go through and kill everything here. Then once we get to that room, you know, let's put on our uniform. Oh, it's broken. Great. Whatever. Pop ourselves a stimmy. Take the stim packs over here too. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take out everything on the bottom floor first. Ah, I'm on fire. Take this here. Pop ourselves a skin pack. That dude just stood there. Just take everything that we have in our inventory. Heal that. Holy crap, our health is low. And we really don't have much for healing items. Yes, I know about the hollowed rock behind Megaton. I just couldn't find it in this playthrough. Alright. We are in a really bad spot here. You know what? When in doubt, take every frickin' drug that you have. And find a weapon. That is so stupidly no. stupid for this situation. Alright. First, we're going to deal with this guy here. <laughs> I love that. Uh, energy cells, microfusion cells. We'll take whatever healing items we can get off these guys. For now. And then... Take a missile launcher. Alright, do we really get them both? Sweet. Alright, so now we're going to come over here, we're going to hop from there to the corner of this and come around here using the geometry of it, and we're going to try and hop up to the top of these, do that, and then hop ourselves up here. This is an area that we're not supposed to be able to reach, but for some reason the door over there, which is shorter than any other door in the game, it somehow works. So, you come back here, and you know those two sniping uh, Brotherhood soldier while out 
damn, Enclave soldiers up here. The ones that really like to be a pain in the butt. You know what? We're gonna use this for now. That's actually pretty effective. It allows you to fight these guys on their own turf. Where the heck? There he is. Boom. This guy have a stim pack or anything on him? Dirty water. It's at least something. Nice. So yeah, now instead of playing peekaboo with these guys from all the way down there, we're able to just get them from right here. And if Sarah works with us, well not Sarah, but Lee, we get to skip that entire action over there. Alright, come on, you. What is it? We'll have her follow us for this section. Okay, we have some healing supplies over here, which we'll take. And we'll keep going. There's also a special helmet in here, which... is probably one of the coolest helmets in the game, and that is... the iBot helmet. Oh, my nose is itching. Take that. We'll drop that jumpsuit because we don't need it. Sweet. Some bottle caps there. Pop this guy in the head here. And somehow blow off all of his legs too. Now, I got a secret that you guys probably have never heard about. And that is the Beta Tesla Cannon. The Beta Tesla Cannon is actually a missile launcher that you can find in the Rocky Cliffs. Uh, where Liberty Prime fights the Enclave at that satellite array. Get ourselves the drugs over here. Toilet mentats. We'll take the dirty water, mud fruit, stim pack, vodka, whiskey, deviled eggs, and then we'll just finish off with the sink. But yeah, you have to basically stack up 5mm ammunition to make yourself a tower to hop over the fence there, and you can go over there and you can grab that weapon. It's a unique weapon, because there's only one of them in the entire game. In fact, Bethesda doesn't even want you to have that weapon. Oh, out of ammo for that. But yeah, Bethesda doesn't even want you to have it, much less even know about it. It runs off of missiles, and it does the same thing as the Tesla cannon but with arguably cheaper ammunition. And, it can be repaired with missile launchers, which are much easier to find than Tesla cannons. So now let's come through here. We gotta kill off this Brotherhood soldier, but we'll use him first to help kill off all these ghouls, since my healing items are low. Okay, I thought it was just the Brotherhood of Steel down here.
I'm surprised he didn't, like, automatically attack me since I'm dressed as Colonel Autumn, but... Fallout 3 doesn't actually have it like that. Fallout New Vegas, if you're dressed... Like, if I... If this were Fallout New Vegas... Since I'm dressed as the enemy... Oh. Dr. Lee was on fire. Since I'm currently dressed as the enemy to the Brotherhood of Steel... Oh. Uh, I play on, uh, Xbox and PC. However, I don't have the Fallout series for series for PC. I have it for Xbox. So right now I'm using Twitch for Xbox, which is quite limited. Oh my god, my nose is itching, my god. Every time we get into a location like this where stress gets high, my nose like tends to itch. And it pisses me off. But yeah, no, I play on my Xbox here. Which is actually starting to turn into a barbecue because of how hot it is. I have my Nintendo Wii on my desk for when I'm playing like Mario and such. I haven't streamed on the Wii in a while. Mainly because I just angle my camera using my phone to record the thing. Alright, this might actually be the end of the playthrough though. Since we have to kill everyone in sight that's able to die. I don't know if these guys can die. This may very well be the end of the playthrough. Since I also don't have... ...really anything to fight these guys. Well, don't have any healing items. Okay, yeah, the knight's just unconscious. Holy crap, you. Calm down, my guy. He's going nuts. Hey, what up, Yuzi? Just take every drug. And then fire at the dude with a missile launcher. Okay, no. Apparently, he becomes friendly the moment that that door opens. And he becomes an enemy again as soon as you walk near. And he just goes unconscious. Alright. Are we overcumbered? No. Oh, we're just extremely crippled. And I see that missile coming towards us, so I think this might actually be the end. Since we are completely out of healing items. And we are dying. Run. Just run for it. Make it to the water. And swim. This may very well be the end of the frickin' kill everybody playthrough. We are completely out of healing items since we don't have access to vendors. From the river to regain our strength. But we do need to somehow deal with the Brotherhood or at least test which Brotherhood can be killed or not. Because we can't just say, oh, we can't do it because every Brotherhood is immortal. No, there's gonna be some that are able to die. So we have to test each Brotherhood soldier and see if they're able to be killed. If none of them can be killed, then we'll proceed as normal. If they can be killed, then we'll have to try and kill them without them killing us. Which is going to be tricky. Because they are in full power armor and I am wearing a dead guy's jacket. And I'm probably high on every single drug in the game. I know, I know. Ironic, since I usually try not to use the drugs and alcohol. But I didn't really have any choice. Are they still angry at me? Are you guys still angry? Please tell me no. Out of the water. 
Are you guys nice? Are you nice? Yeah, you're nice. Move along, outsider. You just said it was good to see me, though. You were just about to say that. Whatever. Oh, I'm so crippled. But the challenge requires this. They can be killed. But so can I. You know the rules, and so do I. Say goodbye. They're firing missiles at us while we swim. Alright, so I've come up with a plan. Ow, let me out of the water. So I've come up with a plan. We just swim back behind these rocks, take a sip of water, wait for them to calm down, we pick off another one. And we keep doing that for the entire Brotherhood of Steel frickin' faction. That only take us until midnight tonight. But, in the name of stupid challenges, we have to do it. If only I had a sniper rifle, that would make this... Ooh, strange rock. Oh, oh, dang. You're following oh. us. How did I... How could I have guessed that the guys in metal armor could swim across the river to come and chase me? Nobody would have guessed that. Well, time for overcompensating. Sayonara. How are you still alive? I fire the power of the sun at your head. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love that effect. Okay, well, Paladin Bale's unconscious. That did something. We've got a hunting rifle. We're gonna go hunt these guys, but first we're gonna go drink ourselves a little bit of water. Get ourselves some hydration. Slurp. The water. The healing water. Not the holy water, though. We can't afford that. We're just gonna go with the healing water. And hope we don't die. That's enough healing. Now sniping is going to be completely impossible with both of our arms crippled. I'm just going to assume that these guys are both unkillable since this guy took three mini nukes to the head and is still walking towards us. God damn it. Do we have any more mini nukes? Yes, we do. Yeet. Brotherhood of Steel and Knight and Paladin Bale are unconscious. So, yeah. They are unkillable. That does speak for the rest of them, though. But look how freaking crippled I am. I have my head stuffed up a robot's ass. I'm wearing the suit of a guy I killed. And I'm being attacked by metal men who can apparently swim. This is very bad. Us high off of off our frickin' head. We're gonna try and snipe a frickin' Brotherhood soldier. With two crippled arms and a hunting rifle. We're out of missiles. 
Do I have any junk? Eh, not really. I'm out of mini nukes. Balls to the walls time. That guy's not taking any damage, is he? Okay, he's a knight. The knights seem to be invincible. Hopefully it just proceeds with the storyline once we go through here and doesn't kill us automatically. Because my god. This is probably the end. You have okay, this is strange. It apparently skipped through the cutscene. It did skip through the cutscene. Ah, it's... Alright, let's see. See if somebody can train us to use power armor. You just managed to get yourself welcome to Alright. Holy crap. Where's Paladin Gunny at? Alright. Let's see. Gonna go with explosives. Take the strong back perk to carry more stuff. Need to find Paladin Gunny and get ourselves some power armor training real quick. And somehow find a way to kill everybody in this place. Hmm. Whew. Alright, I think this is actually where I'm going to leave off for part three of this challenge because I'm stumped right now. I have no idea what our next move is because I didn't even think we'd manage to get into this building. Just gonna save. And I will see you guys next time. Never trust an autosave. Hopefully, I'll be back on maybe tomorrow morning, since tomorrow's pretty free. But I have no clue how we are going to continue the rest of this playthrough. Without any healing items, access to vendors, and we have to take on the entire faction of the Brotherhood of Steel by ourselves. This next stream is going to be hell, so I will see you guys there for it, because I know how much you guys like to torture me. Until next time.